7 News always investigating. We're learning the first time Evan Ebel tampered with his ankle monitoring bracelet was the same day he cut it off. The bracelet triggering a proximity tamper alert at 321 the afternoon of March 14th. Two seconds later, it gave off a strap tamper alert. Police believe Ebel later murdered two people, including state prison's chief Tom Clements. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn working the story new at 5. Russell, the Department of Corrections defending the monitoring technology. Right, and they defended their ankle monitor technology, saying in Evan Ebel's case, the ankle monitor did exactly what it was designed to do. In fact, 7 News uncovered these documents, which show the bracelets triggered 89,000 events in the state of Colorado over the course of the past six months. So many events and alerts, in fact, that the DOC acknowledged its parole officers don't always follow up in a timely manner. These are the state-of-the-art ankle monitors issued to parolees like Evan Ebel after their release from prison. The DOC demonstrating how they work today. The state says the monitor Ebel was wearing alerted his parole officer within seconds of him cutting it off. Just putting someone on an RF device, a GPS device, a TAD device, and expecting that device is going to do everything isn't, doesn't work that way. In fact, despite the tamper alert notification on Thursday, March 14th, the parole officer didn't issue a warrant for Ebel's arrest until Tuesday, March 19th, a full five days after the alert went out that Ebel cut off his ankle monitor. It's then believed Ebel went on to kill pizza delivery man Nate Leone and DOC Chief Tom Clements. The DOC saying again today system protocol was inadequate. And the officer made a determination that he was not going to immediately respond to that case. There were other cases of greater importance that he was working on at that point. Also today, the DOC releasing 2,400 pages, which identify 89,000 ankle monitor alerts and notifications in six months. I want you to think about the scope of information that comes in on a daily basis. So again, the DOC admitting they don't always follow up because of the scope of information that's coming in. In Ebel's case, the monitor went off on February 1st as well for what is called an unauthorized leave signal, presumably because he was...